Yeah, I mean, we're obviously super excited to get to uh, play this at home and in front of our crowd and uh, get to sleep in our own beds and, uh, you know, use this to our advantage for sure. So anytime we can host it means it's been a really good year and I'm proud of the girls and excited for them. Fully realizing you've had about 15 seconds to look at this, but what do you know about Quinnipiac, Denver, and South, uh, Southern County? I know, I don't know anything about Quinnipiac. I know how to say it, I guess. Is that right? It's not easy to say. Um, but uh, Denver, I'm very familiar with. Uh, they have a great coach. They've had a heck of a year. We saw them at the Blue Grade Tournament. We didn't play them personally, but we got a chance to see them play a little bit. They're a super talented group. Um, USC, obviously a, a, a blue blood when it comes to women's tennis and tennis in general. Um, I've had a little bit of a down year, but I've been playing great tennis in the, in the last couple of weeks. So, you know, it's, it's going to be a rough second round, but it's a great opportunity. It's a, a good challenge, and if we can get by that one, it definitely prepares you for the Sweet 16. You guys have had lofty goals all season long with uh, a high ranking all season long. Is this just the next step for your girls at this point? Yeah, I mean, this is the time we've prepared for. You know, this is, uh, we want to make a deep run in this, in this postseason tournament. They've prepared for it. We played a schedule that's going to prepare them for it. and. Uh, you know, it's just an exciting time. You know, we're healthy. We're going to get healthier before then and uh, get some finals behind us and get ready to, to go compete. How much does win in the postseason tournament for the first time? And, you know, you had the regular season titles, but to break through and win that going into this. It, I, th I think it's just beating a quality team like Oklahoma State. I mean, obviously, what comes with it is the title, but I think being able to compete in, on that stage with a, a top 10 team and last year's NCAA finals team with Oklahoma State and come out on top, I think. You know, gives them confidence that they can play with anybody in the country, and, and we're going to need that because it's it's going to get tough right off the bat. Coach, um, Coach, you kind of talked about all season about not really having the mindset of oh, you know, we're playing for the Big Twelve, we're playing for this. You just kind of go out there and play. Is it different now that this is a big dance? No, I don't think so. I think your approach has to be the same. It, it's truly not about the the people that are coming or who's next on the on the draw or who's next in the in line. It's it's more about controlling our environment, controlling what we can control, and. You know, you're going to hear every coach at Texas Tech say the same thing, but it's it's true. I mean, it's uh, at this point in time, we we can't worry about who's on the other side of that. We've got to control our emotions and control our environment. You had the opportunity this time, knowing you were in winning the Big 12 outright. Did you get have a little smile on your face when uh, a former assistant coach made it? Yeah, I know. I'm excited for him. You know, Coach Chapman uh, getting through and. He has a tough matchup with Notre Dame, but uh, he's had uh, some been with the injury bug a little bit. But I think they'll be healthy, and you know he's got a great team. You know, as many uh, you know, I hope to look down this in 10, 15 years and have two or three or four assistants that are in this tournament as well. So I'm, I'm always happy for them. Just maybe not in the Big 12, though. Right? No, not for me. <laughs> Coach, the amount of experience that this team has, obviously, really playing a lot over the last couple of years. How much is that going to help? Um, and it, it helps in any sense, but especially this team. It seems like this, this unit has really come together. Right. I think the more times you can put yourself in big matches, the more you can pull from those experiences. And, and we've, we've failed in, in big moments, and we've had some success in big moments. And we've learned a lot from both situations. So um, I think being able to play this in front of your home crowd, this group's been able to do this to, uh, the last two years, so that's what they know. I think it's going to be comfortable for them. Um, you know, the opponents are going to change, but, you know, the approach is going to stay the same. How different was it this year knowing you were in guaranteed? You've known you were going in the, in the past, but this year was a lock and you just kind of got to enjoy the experience. Yeah, I mean, I think you're always nervous because as a coach, you're sitting there going, okay, who are they sending here? You know, I think we knew we were going to host. It was just more who they're going to send to, to play us. And so you're, you're, you're count, you've got about five teams in your head and you see them go off. And finally, when I saw Arizona State, Arizona State go off early, I knew it was USC. And, um, you know, we're excited about it, but, you know, I. I'm never comfortable. You know, if I ever get comfortable, it's time to get out, that's for sure. <laughs> um, that's definitely given us a huge momentum. and um, We've had a great season so far, probably the best so far since I've been here. So um, we're really looking forward to the NCAAs and we're going to put our best foot forwards for sure. You guys have been facing tough competition all season long and in Big 12 it just it keeps getting tougher. How much did that prepare you for a tournament run? Um, it was definitely good to face Oklahoma, a team like Oklahoma State in the final. Um, it's definitely going to prepare us for the tough matches we have coming up, um, but we're definitely ready and we're all prepared mentally and physically. Do you know anything about the, the opponents that you guys got about 15 seconds ago? Um, honestly, I don't know much about Quinny. Quinny, Quinny, Quinny yeah. <laughs> um, I just know he's in Connecticut. Um, but we have actually faced um, USC in the past and they're also in our bracket, so it'll be good to have a rematch against us. Yeah, I mean, coming back and beating Oklahoma State this year, 
after losing to them in the same situation last year obviously gives us a lot of momentum and um, I think we've had some time to regroup and like we're gonna take this week to get ready and um, <laughs> use this to come in even stronger. Go ahead. How much does the team chemistry play into y'all's success this season? Um, having the same team that we had last year has really helped us, I think. Um, we didn't lose anyone, and we had pretty much the same lineup going in. And like knowing uh, everyone's game style really helped us in being able to connect with each other. Um, and knowing everything like about each other has really helped us with our success. Fully realizing you've had about 15 seconds to know anything about this, yeah. your opponents. What do you know about any of the three teams you guys are facing? Uh, or could face? I don't know anything about Quinnipiac, just <laughs> that they're from Connecticut, like Sabrina said. Um, and then uh, also U USC is going to be a tough match if they if we meet up with them. But um, it'll be a good, good, uh, good challenge, good competition, so we're looking forward to it. How big is it that this will be at home? Uh, huge. We always love having home matches. It's an advantage for us getting our home crowd out there supporting us and we love playing in front of all of our fans and it's just, it's uh, it's really exciting to be out there in front of everyone representing the double T. Well, thank you, firstly. Sure. Uh, yeah, I think we've all had a great year. This year was amazing. We've had like 24 wins so far. Uh, we only lost four times. Or yeah, four times so far, and uh, I think we play a pretty solid tennis right now because we've coached a lot of um, a, a lot of areas. We improved a lot of areas where we struggled with at the beginning of the year or last year. Uh, at the same time, um, we also have more experience now. Uh, there are four juniors in this team. There is a senior. There are two sophomores uh, and one freshman. Almost all of us uh, were in this situation last year, so. Uh, it's going to be a uh, new experience, but it's going to be a better one, yeah. How much does that experience help you guys going forward, knowing what to expect, having a title taken away last year that you, could, you felt like you could have won, winning the title this year and carrying it into the tournament? Well, yeah, that helps. Uh, knowing that we already won this title, uh, it helps us uh, to be more mentally prepared to be there to know that we can do whatever we want, we can beat those big teams uh, in those big moments. Uh, that gives us a lot of confidence about our uh, tennis and about what we can accomplish uh, right now. But yeah, as I said earlier, we play pretty good tennis and I think we have big chances to do a good result, but it's only on us and uh, how much confidence we have and how our mentality is going to be in that moment. Fully acknowledging you've had about 15 seconds to know any of your opponents this weekend. What do you know about the, the four, three schools coming here? Uh, well, I don't really know much about them, but you know, you don't have to underestimate any uh, of them because they're all good teams. They all, uh, they're all in this tournament, so uh, they are valuable opponents and we have to take them seriously and we have to give our best on the court uh, no matter what, no matter who's on the other side of the net. So yeah, I think that's gonna be a challenge for us, but it's gonna be a challenge for them too. Uh, but we look forward to improve our games and go farther. What's different about this team this year? Uh, than last year? Well, there is not much, not such a big difference uh, in this team this year, uh, comparing it to last year. But I think that uh, we've all, we're all uh, still united in everything we do on court and off court. Um, but the uh, difference is that we have more experience. We've been in these situations. Uh, we know how to handle them better this year, and uh, we'll try to do our best.